Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have another grocery haul for you. We didn't really need a ton of stuff, really just produce. We're pretty much out of fruits. We have some veggies, some fresh veggies, but we really needed some fresh fruit and then a few other like fresh items. And then I just took advantage of needing to stock up on a couple other things, mainly like frozen veggies that you're gonna see right there. Um, but anyways, let's get into the grocery haul. We're gonna start with what I picked up at Aldi. Okay, so it's not really in any particular order, but I picked up some corn squares, some Italian dressing, because I just opened up the one that was in the pantry. I got a couple of things of minced garlic, just because we go through it a lot, and I thought, I didn't have any, I noticed I didn't have any in the pantry, which is not good. Um, so I just figured I'd pick up two. I did pick up some corn. I would love to have like the stuff that's like still in the husk and everything, but I haven't been seeing that at any of the stores lately. Probably need to get to like a roadside stand, but I don't know where they're at around by me. So anyways, I picked this up for dinner this week. Hopefully they're good. Their red grapes were on sale, so I got two bags of those. I also picked up a couple things of pepperoni, one each of unsalted and salted butter, a couple things of pepper jack cheese, some pickles. I picked up more of this juice that we've been enjoying. We didn't drink it all from last week, not even close. There's still three of them maybe in the pantry, but um, they're just like the type of thing that's kind of hard to buy more than a couple at a time because they're big and they're heavy they're in like the glass thing and I have to carry everything in and all of that so I was like I'm just gonna grab like three more I've got space for them so did that some orange juice I got some almond milk I got another chocolate and then two um, unsweetened vanilla and two unsweetened and regular I have just what's open of these two in the fridge right now so I figured I'd pick up two more picked up two yogurts one plain and one vanilla I have some jam and jellies around that we haven't been using because I don't we don't have like peanut butter and jelly or anything. So I was like, what can I use to have that with? And I thought, oh, mixing that with some plain yogurt would be a good snack. I'm probably gonna do some other stuff with them. I'm thinking maybe some baking with the jam, but I got that. And then this is just for like the regular yogurt parfaits that we sometimes have. Some more of my almond milk creamer. And then I didn't really sort these out, but I got a bunch of veggies. Um, we just had, I had room for them, we were running low. And also, Aldi has lowered the amount of ounces in their uh, organic broccoli and green beans. So we go through them more. Like some meals, I actually will make like two bags or like one and a half bags of broccoli. Um, they're only 10 ounces, they used to be 14. So that's a real disappointment. Anyways, I got some frozen broccoli, some green beans, and some rice cauliflower. Mostly broccoli, because that's what I had the least of in my freezer, but I got a few of the others. And I think that's it for Aldi. I also bought another one of these cooler bags today from Aldi. Um, I think it's $6.99 or $5.99. I have this one too that I've had for like a long time and I have another smaller one that's already in my car because I, I put my bags right back in the car when I'm done unloading them. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, it's like 100 degrees out and even just like a 10, 15 minute drive home is not great for frozen veggies because they start to thaw and then they freeze back up together. So this helps at least a little bit. So I did pick up one of those. All right, just a few things from Lidl. Picked up some sparkling water, some pe in the flavor passion fruit. Hope my husband's gonna like that one. Um, some real maple syrup. This lasts us obviously a long time. It's a little bit pricey, I think it's like 12 or 13 bucks, but it lasts us a long time and I really do prefer this. Uh, I got just a few bananas, some tomatoes, cause we're all out of that, but we still have like carrots and lettuce and stuff. Some peaches, these peaches were still on sale for like 99 cents a pound, so I got a good amount of them. Another spaghetti squash and some little cutie mandarin oranges. And I think that is it from Lidl, and I've just got a couple things from Walmart. Okay, so I didn't pick up a ton from Walmart. Um, first, I just have a few things like school supply items. Our church is collecting stuff for a local school, and they gave us a list of things they need. And um, I think they're just going to divvy it up. The school will divvy it up among the students who need it. So I just grabbed those because I got to bring those this week to church. Picked up some more of my iced chai tea latte. And guys, my Walmart has done something really good. 
These are have always been on the very top shelf and you could only reach one or two of them and they were often not fully stocked. They would be all the way, or they'd be all the way in the back of the top shelf, you couldn't reach them. They lowered them to a shelf that you can actually reach. They were plenty stocked and they were easy to get, <laughs> so I got four. I hope they keep it that way because that was really nice. I picked up whoops, some straws and then I just picked up myself a couple of these teas. I love these no boundaries. There's the semi-fitted, so I get them in the large and they always come up with new colors each season and they're like, I think $3.48. So they had a couple new colors, so I grabbed those. All right, well that is gonna do it for today's video. I am now officially hot and sweaty and my hair shows the humidity, but that is okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy grocery hauls and meal ideas and that kind of thing, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Hit that notification bell as well. And yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.